Hello, it's Karen here and today I'm making a layout using old and new stash for this month's challenge on UK School Nordics. Um My new stash is this paper which is a French range and I get it from a company called Scrap Circle. Um, I really like the patterns and the feel of this um, company's papers and they are although all of the um, phrases are in French they are beginning to do some in English as well so it's called I think it's called Florigies but I don't know I don't speak French so with this pack you get um, this cutout sheet but you also get eight sheets of um, paper which are really nice so I've decided that from these papers I'm going to use this one and this one so I've got two kind of wood print ones and I wanted um, to make a banner with some of the pink so I'm thinking I'm going to cut this piece here out which will give me enough to make a banner with um, as I'm not particularly fussed about that one I didn't want to lose the butterfly one in addition to that I've got just a piece of white cardstock and for my old stash I'm going to use um, some eyelets some grads which I've got uh, several different ones and some buttons which I've had for years. I cut this title out on my silhouette um, and it was a free cut file from Cut To You. So if you sign up for their newsletter you get these beautiful free cut files. Uh, the photos I'm going to use, I'm only going to use three although I've printed out four um, and that's um, so I have uh, Darcy who's my current puppy she's seven months old this was Kira who was our golden retriever that we lost in May last May when she was a puppy so, but that's not a very good photograph but it's the only one I've got and this one is um, my daughter's dog who's now two and a half she's called Isla and she's a curly coated retriever so I've got the the three puppies I want to use on my page I also have um, somewhere buried down here uh, a quick sketch that I did to decide how I'm going to use the um, brads so I'm going to put the brads on the banners to string some string through sorry the eyelets on the banner to string some string through I'm going to turn a corner over and hold it with some of the brads and I'm going to have buttons decorating my page as well to start I've cut this piece of paper um, to 11 and a half inches square and then did a two inch border because I really like the paper and I didn't want to waste any that's going to go here and then this piece here has been cut ten and a half inches square and that's going to go on there 
was originally going to fold both corners over but I think I'm going to leave this one flat and just fold one over and then hold it with a brad so I should get on and do that I'm going to add my photographs next because then that will give me some sense of how much room I've got left for the other bits and pieces. happy with the placement of the photos I think I've put them too far down so I'm going to move them up an inch or so fits a lot better there now <clears throat> so next thing I'm going to do is decide on where I'm going to put some buttons and I'm going to use pink and green
what I'm going to do is um, put some glue on the buttons but make sure I don't get it over the holes so that when I sew them um, the glue doesn't get on my needle. From the pink card I've cut three pieces an inch wide and I'm just making them reflect the shape of the label. So I'm going to set eyelets into all of these pieces. I'm using a copper dial to make my holes and set my brads. So I've um, made holes in my eyelets as well and I'm doing a back stitch across the top of the page with the, so it's sewing the um, buttons and the eyelets. I've stuck my title to a piece of the card that I got it from that paper. I'm going to cut that out and then um, I'm going to firstly cut the butterflies, some butterflies out to put on here and I might do a butterfly or a heart poking out from there, I'm not quite sure. I've cut my butterflies out and I'm going to pop them onto foam pads and put them onto my little banner and then I've cut some extra ones to go at the bottom by my title and one more to go there. And then the final thing I'm going to do is add three brads to the corners of the bottom and that one. 
here is my finished page with um, threads and eyelets and buttons which is my old stash so I've popped on the butterflies and the brads on the corner of the photographs and on the back I've put washi tape over the brads so that when I put them in the album they won't catch the page protector. That is my page for this month's prompt which is to use old stash with new if you pop over to our Facebook page or our blog you will see that all of the girls have done varying, various things with old and new stash. So thank you for watching this month and I'll see you again soon.